Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here, and today I wanted to quickly pop on and go over some of the courses that are available on our well-established training platform, Microsurvey School. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you get to the web page. Um, you're going to want to sign up with your email address because then you'll be able to track your progress. Um, and if you've purchased any courses, they'll all be there on your account. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to uh, show you the overview here. All right, so this is Microsurvey School homepage. If you scroll down here to the bottom, uh, these blue courses here, those are our new survey tools for BricsCAD uh, tutorials. Those are completely free. And it's a great way uh, for you to get your hands on and get familiar with the latest release from Microsurvey, which is Survey Tools for BricsCAD. So if you're interested in trying out Survey Tools for BricsCAD or you've already got your demo and you just want to expedite the process of familiarizing yourself with the new interface or seeing how some of the functionality works, this is a great place to start. Okay, so if we scroll back up to the top, um, I want to show you guys here, um, we've got some filters that we can kind of classify uh, the different courses by. So you can see here, if you're looking for a specific um, topic, a specific software, all, Starnet, uh, free, CAD, Kogo, bundles, DTM, Starnet, and survey tools for BricsCAD. So say I was interested in learning about Starnet. You could go to Starnet and it would show you all of your Starnet courses. So one thing that I love about this platform is there are introductory courses that are offered for free. So if you go to, let's say, free introductory courses under our filters, we've got Starnet Imports and Microsurvey CAD for Construction Professionals. So I love these free introductory classes because it's a very low barrier to entry. You can get your feet wet. You can see how you do with the online learning delivery, if that works for you. You can see the value that's provided in these courses. Um, and then that gives you the foundation that you can build on depending on what your needs are. I'm going to go back to all courses. So I'm just going to quickly spend some time going over the individual courses so you can kind of see uh, what's on this platform. Okay, so first off here we have the StarNet certification. So this is a self-paced version of our StarNet certification course. Again, we have the free option, which is the import workflows. So that's a great place to start if you just got started with StarNet. Um, or maybe you've been using StarNet for a while, but maybe you've only been using it with conventional data and now you want to learn how to integrate GNSS data. So maybe you only need to take the GNSS course, or maybe you only want to take the combining data course. So it's fully customizable up to what you need. Um, and then we have Kogo 1, 2, and 3, which walks you through the fundamentals of the beloved Kogo functionality in Microsurvey CAD. So this Kogo routine is integrated within all of the Microsurvey products. So that's Microsurvey CAD, InCAD, Embedded CAD, and Survey Tools for Bricks CAD. Um, so no matter what one of those products you're using, those Kogo videos would apply to you. Okay, so next on the roster is the Microsurvey Digital Terrain Modeling course. Uh, the next course is my favorite course, Microsurvey CAD for Construction Professionals. So the reason I love this course so much is it's a great entry-level course for construction professionals who might not have a intense background or education in surveying. Okay, and here we are down at the bottom with our Survey Tools for Bricks CAD courses. Um, I already touched a bit on these, so first off, we have the Survey Tools for Bricks CAD Construction Tutorial, which is Staking CAD Cleanup. Okay, so the next one is Survey Tools for Bricks CAD DTM Tutorial. I'm really excited to take this course and get working a little bit more in Survey Tools for Bricks CAD. Okay, so next up is Survey Tools for Bricks CAD Topo Import with Leica Captivate. So that course is going to go over a field to finish workflow using data from Leica Captivate and bringing it into Survey Tools for Bricks CAD. Um, and then the last one here, we have Survey Tools for Bricks CAD Kogo tutorial. So that one's going to show you the Kogo functionality of Microsurvey CAD, but it's going to do so in the Bricks CAD interface. So, okay, so that is it for the courses on here for now. But again, these are always being added to. Um, and 
As you can see, a lot of these courses are free. So get over here and sign up, make yourself an account and learn some new stuff and just become all that more productive with your software. Um, or maybe learn something new about a software that you've never used before. All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something new in this video and that you head on over to Microsurvey School and take advantage of some of the resources that are available over there for you, uh, especially the free ones. And you know, this is a great kind of a starting point if you're just getting uh, familiar with some of the Microsurvey products. And there's even some new stuff on there if you've been learning Microsurvey for a while that might be able to improve your workflows. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time.